we have the firing point just here mm -hmm. and when it fires expansion takes place here it expands and expands and when it has finished expanding the next one is ready to fire just here it is taking in taking in a charge here compressing it here and when it's fired it's Exhaust. expanding there and now the next one comes around and you will find that when it compresses it's on firing point this is just taking in another charge Shown this, the exhaust. this has exhausted through there and the next one comes around and it compresses and more compresses until it gets to the firing point when it fires this one has fired and pushed the piston away and the next time this one here is sucking in a new charge this one is compressing the charge that's already there and taking it around to the firing point where it fires then and drives this piston back around there by extending the length of that piece you alter the compression ratio of the thing okay and then but anyway we yeah I'm still recording you yeah, just keep going <laughs> yeah this is twice as big as that and that one rotates at double the speed of the um, output shaft so that we can use use this cam here to correct the the small inefficiency that there is in the thing but that corrects it you see it just it just makes the what's name might go backwards and forwards you get it hey. twice every revolution yeah all right it's a complication <laughs> but anyway, and then on the end of the two to one shaft is the ignition ignition department with, with two cams on it that make it make and break cams for the ignition yeah. okay um, but seeing we've got it running on compressed air now the next thing I got to